Well, former Denel CEO Riyaz Saluji delivered bombshell testimony at the state capture inquiry today. He testified about meetings, the meeting rather, the Guptas several times during 2012. He went a step further by claiming Duduzani Zuma, Malusi Gigaba, and Ace Mahashule's son were at some of those meetings. Now, the controversial deal with VR Laser also came up. Our reporter, Erin Bates, is, of course, tracking the state capture inquiry for us. I haven't heard the word bombshell at the state capture inquiry since Angelo Gritzi, so it must be good, Erin. Tell us about uh, Riyaz Saluji and uh, what he described about those meetings he attended in Saxonwold in 2012 and then again in 2015. Who did he say was present at those meetings? Yes, well, it is really bombshell stuff, and we haven't had that for a while, although it is a word that recurs when we're talking about the commission. Uh, what Taluji says is that soon after he was appointed group CEO of Danel and was gripped with the task of turning around the state-owned company, Salim Essa invited him to a meeting. Essa agreed to pick him up at a coffee shop in Oakland in Johannesburg and then drove him to the Saxonwald estate. And lo and behold, when he got there, Essa introduced him to Rajesh Tony Gupta and a very important person in the cabinet at the time. Let's have a look. He picked me up and we drove, and then he drove me to the Gupta residence in Saxonwald. Um, I was not aware that that was the residence at that point in time, okay? and, but he had informed me that it was. And he said, don't worry. Again, he said, this is the support of the very top. Okay. And this is after you, are, you had gotten into his car and you're driving yes. towards Saxon World. Yes. So then we get to, to the place and we go inside and uh, I am taken into a room and uh, I'm introduced to Tony Gupta. Tony Rajesh Gupta. That's, yes. Okay. It's the first time I met with, with Tony Gupta. Had you met with any of the Gupta family Never. prior to this? Not. Yes. So uh, we engage in pleasantries, and uh, he's obviously he says, how are you, and whatever else. Uh, and then shortly after that, he escorts, Tony escorts me into another room. Okay, so we leave that room, we go into another room. In that room, he introduces me to his, another, he says, this is my brother. And uh, he doesn't say who the brother is. He just said, this is my brother. And the brother greets me. He says, hello, Rias, how are you? And I said, I'm fine. And then he turns around. And in the room was also Minister Malusi Gigawa. Okay. And then he says to Minister Gigawa, uh, Minister Gigawa, this is the new CEO of Denel. This is the new guy, Rias. Okay. And all mm -hmm. Minister Gigawa said is, hello, how are you, Rias? That was it. And there was not a further exchange between, I mean, there was no discussion about Denel or anything of that sort. It was just an introduction. So that's not the only names he mentioned, more bombshells, I'm guessing. Yes, we might need to find another word just to keep people <laughs> interested before it becomes fatigued. But what um, uh, Saluji says is uh, actually later in that meeting, Gigaba said these are uh, friends. Uh, it'd be good if you could work with them, he alleges, Gigaba said. He then says Essa took him back to the coffee shop where he'd been picked up initially. And on the drive back, uh, Saluji says that Essa told him the Guptas were good people and he shouldn't be worried about working with them. Then, as you say, he says there was a subsequent meeting some weeks later. This time he drives himself to the Gupta's home because he knows the address and uh, this time he meets the sons of two very important people in government. Let's have a look. Get into, into the room there. Uh, Tony, Gupta and Essa are present there. Okay. But there was also another individual who was there and I was introduced to the individual there as to Duzani Zoom. Okay. And later there was another individual who walked into the room but was there for a short while. Who Tony Gupta said to me, this is Ace Mahashule's son, okay, the Premier of the Free State. But he had left uh, yes, shortly Yes, he didn't stay. He didn't stay. Yes. And in this meeting, uh, Essa was, uh, he took the lead, okay, uh, and which I found absolutely amazing because he said to me that I should understand that they had, they had supported my appointment. Supported. He said they had supported, they supported your appointment. Yeah. Mm. They had supported it. Okay. Now, I found this very surprising because I'm sitting in a room here, and the opening statement is that he has made this. Notwithstanding the fact that I had gone through a rigorous process with the previous board, 
Okay. The job was advertised. I applied for the job. I had gone through the process. The previous board, the 2011 board, had made a recommendation to the minister. The minister took it to cabinet, and it was then ratified by cabinet. Okay. So, I mean, I must say, I was extremely surprised when, when he made this, this statement. So despite driving himself to the Guptas and their meetings, he still says it was all above board because he told them? He told them that if they wanted to do business with Danell, they would have to go by the book. They would have to follow the rules and uh, that he wasn't going to do anything to really pull favors for them. Uh, but he said there was a third meeting in uh, 2012, and this time it was toward the end of the year. So he'd been in the position at Danell for a while. And at that meeting, he says only Essa and Rajesh Tony Gupta were present. And the tone changed this time. He says that Gupta said that uh, he wasn't cooperating with the family and he didn't want to have to escalate the matter. And when the first meeting occurred, Essa said it had approval right from the top, which Saluji interpreted to mean that they had the approval of the then President Jacob Zuma. So him interpreting that uh, lack of cooperation and possibility of escalating things from Gupta as a veiled threat. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much for that. Appreciate it. Our reporter, Erin Bates.